So I have a little story for you guys, bro. You know, this just happened earlier today. It is currently the evening, but this is wild. And this is just some random. This is not somebody I'm talking to. It's nothing like that. It's some random that's promoting Snapchat that was talking about it publicly. And you know, we engaged back and forth for a quick second. And I told her to delete Snapchat because it's the devil. And I always had a feel about it, that it was. It's a part of the matrix, it's a part of the Illuminati, it's a part of control of minds. And I told her this, and you know what her response was, bro? What's wrong with the devil? He's a good looking guy, what's wrong with the devil? You know what I said? Are you an atheist? And she said, yes. And she looked super weird when I said this because she was on a live. Like I said, this is not some girl I'm talking to. This is a random. And I happened to pop by and a live popped up on my page. And she actually responded to a few things that I said, but I had to tell her that to see what she was going to say as I told her to delete Snapchat. No way. No way. And I said that it was a devil. What's wrong with the devil? This is what's wrong with today's day and age. This is what is wrong. You see, the thing with Snapchat, people think it's so harmless, mindless, and all this stuff, right? I told a few of my friends a couple weeks ago that I was going to delete this. And I actually just did it. I actually just deleted Snapchat. Today. And I'm not ever going to re-download that shit again, bro. Because I know now. That kind of just confirmed it further of what it really is because it's such a weird thing it controls people's minds why is it that people act different on snapchat than they do over text than they do over instagram dms than they do in real life why is every single person acting different talking different on these apps it's control. People are being controlled on these apps. This is what is going on. Pay attention to this, bro. There's probably a whole hell of a lot of you people that's watching this video right now that have Snapchat. And you know yourself, people act very different on that app compared to in real life, compared to even texting on a cell phone compared to even texting on DMs on Instagram. It's strange, bro. It's strange what was said today. And it was kind of eye-opening. It just confirmed to me what I already knew because everyone always acted weird, bro. I don't even know why I re-downloaded the app. I, I never, that's one app I've never had like most of my life. And I downloaded again just to chat back and forth with a few mates. Barely use the damn thing, barely ever go on the damn thing. Snap score super, super low. I talk to most people over text, Instagram, whatever. But this app... There's something really strange about it, bro, and people be blind in life on that app. The whole life goes by and people are on that app. People are living on the app. People don't want to hang out no more. People don't want to do fun things no more. People just want to be on the apps. That's what is going on. People are controlled by the Illuminati. People are controlled by Snapchat. This girl looked possessed. The thing is, she looked not like this crazy thing, but 
she called herself a witch. And she was wearing very, a very limited amount of clothes. She was like thirst trapping. And she was calling herself a witch on her live. I'm a witch. And there's a lot of these bitches out here today, bro, be calling themselves witches. Like, what is going on? I don't know. I don't know what's going on. I don't know why people are this way. But it was very strange when I said this because the look on her face was very telling when I brought this stuff up. But she answered the way she wanted to answer. She wasn't hiding nothing, bro. She was on a damn live. This wasn't just me talking to her. There was a bunch of people in the chat. And some of you guys don't know this, but I've been making a few videos getting answers from certain things to come up with more information. Seeing what's going on in the world. And it's wild. I'm about to delete a few more apps. Because this shit is crazy, bro. The whole world is running off this shit, bro. People are not what they should be in real life. And it's crazy. I have like a handful of people that I can be authentic with. And we laugh our asses off, bro. We have a good time. We're in the moment. But there's not many people like that no more. And People are so dry. You talk to certain people and everyone's so dry, boring, bland. What the fuck is going on, man? Why is everything this way? Why can't people get together and have good energy? Everyone's so fixated on looking so cool and giving one word replies and doing this to everybody. Like in this generation, it's cool to not care. It's cool to be a complete dickhead. It's cool to be those things. And it's... You know, you can't build any good friendships, connections, relationships, anything when people are being this way. If this video in itself is not a wake-up call, I don't know what else will be. But I'm telling you guys right now, bro, to delete Snapchat. And the sad part is, a lot of you won't. But you should. Oh, well, this will happen now and I won't be able to talk to these people now. What's the point? <laughs> All that time you're spending on an app, you could be spending on building a side hustle of some kind to actually benefit your life. Instead of going through all this BS, talking to mindless people. At the time, it's pe people's ghosts and you people's doing weird shit. Why? Get rid of it. It's junk. People be doing shit just to make you feel bad for no reason. People be ghosting you for no reason. People are weird, bruh. This is the world we live in today. People can't be genuine. You can't even get around people and have a good time no more. People are just fucking boring. People stupid. People live their life on these apps. People live their life to just look so cool. Oh, I'm so cool. Look at me. I can leave you on open. I can leave you on red. I can leave you on scene. Look at me. I must be cooler than you. What the fuck is that, bro? Like... This is what people do. I'm the type of guy I can catch on to what people do. This is what people do. I've been seeing so many things for so long. Like the same thing in high school. I started to get sick and tired of people because I saw the way people would act. I would literally walk out of my group and just walk, just walk off to class because it was so stupid. And a few people even saw me do it and knew what I was doing. They were like, Joel's gone. Because it's stupid. People are stupid, bro. Oh, yeah. It's such a fun time. Being an idiot. Such a fun time. Such a fun time acting so cool. What is it going to get you? You fucking losers. 
that's the thing, man. These people don't actually want to win in life. They just want to do something to make themselves feel like that. Instead of actually doing the hard work to create something valuable for yourself, to do something good, to become a well-rounded human being, to become better. People do anything besides do that. It's ridiculous. These people's brains, bro, they're fried. They're gone. They ain't got a tick left. And it's just the most embarrassing thing having conversations with the majority of these people. You don't conversate with these people. They're airheads. They don't. You don't know what's going to happen. You don't know what's going to happen, bruh. Any girl in my life that I've ever taken seriously did not come from Snapchat. Zero. And the rest... Not worth two cents. It's like the cheating app. It's like the unauthentic app. It's atheist shit. It's not godly. It's ungodly. It's very devil-like. It's very... Just not... It don't make sense. It don't make sense to real life. But that's what people want to do for whatever reason. Instead of actually come together in real life, do fun things all the time. Have a good time. Be yourself. But nah, that's what people do, bruh. And it's stupid. A better life is having minimal apps. I'm cracking down on a couple right now. That's how it used to be in 2019 and I slowly started to get a couple more. And it's a mistake. I'm cutting it down even more, getting even more strict, more tuned in. I saw what I saw, and today just kind of sealed the deal. They're all fools. All these people, bro, they're fools. Most. You really, it's, it's just nothing, it's just... I don't know. It makes no sense. The conversations make no sense. People don't make sense. It's just a strange thing. Very strange. And that conversation that I had today earlier, like I said, it just it sealed the deal. It makes you see even more what this is really about. You see what side they're on, bruh. So what side are you going to be on? Are you going to keep these apps and just continue to mess about? Or are you going to create a better life and actually get off the apps and stop worrying about your damn score? And put your score up in real life. Because that is what matters. Your damn snap score, bro. Your little popularity. This is for the girls, too. I don't care who this is for. Because these are all bad addictions. These are all pathetic things. It really is. Like, it, it really is. Whether you believe so or not, what's wrong with your cell phone? What's wrong with getting somebody else's number? What's wrong with those things? What's wrong with Instagram DMs? Is that not enough either? There's too many things. That's the problem here. That's the problem. People say Snapchat's such a quick way to communicate, which, yeah, it is, I guess, but it's just a cheating app. There's so many people, conversations are so small, stupid, meaningless. Things have to mean more in life. People have to be more selective in life. I don't give a fuck to have a million contacts in Snapchat talking to a list of people. What are you doing? You say these little things to people all damn day and you do nothing. 
Not one damn person that you talk to on Snapchat is meaningful. It's just stupidity. You're not building nothing with nobody. You're not doing nothing with nobody. This is the issue I have with the app. It's a mind control, bruh. People think, oh, it's basically like a video game. Like Snapchat, that's what it's like. It's stupid. It's meaningless. You don't build actual connections. Nothing's going on. You're not talking about doing things in real life. You're not discussing ideas. You're not getting together in real life to actually build things to get better. It's just stupidity. That's all it is. So, in my opinion, people don't need this app. It's stupid. It's a waste of time. It's meaningless. Stick to the basics. It's much better. This is how you master life. There's a benefit to social media, but you have to know how to use it. Because if you don't know how to use it, it's going to take over you. And if it takes over you, <clears throat> there goes your life. I was always very good at not letting these things happen. Like I said, I have a very low snap score. Did. Very low. Barely used the damn thing. But people live every day, bro, to just build their snap score. Oh my god. You're so cool, bro. You're so cool. It makes no sense. So, when you really break things down, bro, you, you make people look really dumb. <laughs> you really do. It's like Andrew Day. It's like Fresh and Fit. They break things down so damn good that you're now a caged animal with nowhere to go. You're now in a corner. You have no escape. You have no comeback. What's said is said. It's pure truth. There's nowhere for you to go. This is what I always loved about being a realist. People cannot take this shit, bro. Because all these people live their lives with these with, with, in their ways, right? But when you call them out, when you say what it really is, when Fresh and Fit holds these crazy women around the world accountable on the Fresh and Fit podcast, they are live on camera. They have nowhere to go. They get blanked in plain sight. And the truth comes out. So when you give people facts, a lot of the time they can't take them. And this is just another fact that I'm speaking on in this video. And I want to encourage people to limit apps. Cut things out that is not necessary. I said it today to a friend because I was talking to a few people of why I'm deleting Snapchat. And I said this to more than one person actually. I said this to like a couple people that I talked back and forth with a few times. I basically said, there's no point in having this because they question, well, why do you want this app anymore? Because there's no point because why are we gonna talk on this app? We'll talk on Instagram. You're still gonna text me. And like, you're, you're talking to people in like all different places. Shorten things up. Stick to one, two ways of communication. That's enough. I get it, not everybody has one thing. I, I would say having about two ways of communication, maybe one app and your cell phone to communicate with people. I think Instagram and your cell phone, like texting on your cell phone, is all you need. And you might say, why Instagram? Because you can meet people in the world, around the world, like I do. That's why it's good. Facebook, not where the fuck. Why? Because it's going to be all your family and people you know from your hometown, so that's kind of stupid. Instagram's more of a worldwide app. It's not that Facebook is not. You just find people easier around the world on Instagram. And you don't want too many apps. So that's the thing here. For me, I'm sticking to Instagram and I'm sticking to my cellular device. That is it. And obviously email. And even when people email me, bro, I don't even email people. People email me, I tell them, go to my phone. Go to my phone. Go to my phone. 
So that's how it has to be. It's not that it has to be that way, but it should be this way. And I think it's much better for people to shorten things up, to not complicate things, to not be texting your buddy on this app, then you open the other one and they're texting you here, and then you open the other one, they're texting you there, and it's like, you're talking to so many people all over the place, and it's like, why can you not stick to basics? That's what I can't understand. <clears throat> why can you not stick to basics? Shorten things up, be more efficient, be more mindful, stick with your people. Why is everybody all over the place today? Why is everybody talking to so many different people? There's no need for that. It's stupid. Meaningless shit. So if you want to live a better life, make it more meaningful. And that's the last thing I'm going to say in this video. So before you guys click off, be very mindful of what you're doing. Ask yourself, why are you doing these things? Ask yourself, is this really needed? Like, is that really needed? Ask yourself that. 